Hi guys! Today's video is going to be about keeping secrets from narcissists. We all know that narcs always assume that we're hiding something from them. Whether we're actually hiding something or not, they're, we're just apparently always hiding something. Um, they'll snoop through everything that we have seeing if they can find anything that they can to turn into a oh you've been hiding this from me scenario because you know they love the drama and even as adults they they do this i can't tell you how many times i've moved and my narcissistic mother had to be there and help me move she pretty much did no help all she did was just snoop through everything I own and also steal from me. Like she would steal DVDs. The last time um, she helped move, she stole two big boxes full of DVDs and put them in her storage locker. And I swear, I think I had maybe 20 or 30 DVDs left. And I'm sitting there thinking, I had a whole cabinet full, where do they go? And then I went into her storage locker because I was having to send her stuff back to her and I was having to foot the bill. It cost over $800 just to send it back through one of those U-boxes from U-Haul. And like, or pods, it's like a pod or something, but they, the rules on there said that they're not supposed to have any like flammable cleaning liquids or whatever. So my dad and I went into her storage locker looking for cleaning products and stuff, nothing that could be flammable. And I told her over the phone what the rules were. She had a lot of cleaning stuff. There was only a couple of full bottles, but most of them were just small. Well, they were big bottles, but there was like a small amount left in them. So most of them got thrown out. Oh Lord. She agreed on the phone. Like she got angry, but I told her, well, that's the rules. Otherwise I can't send it. And so Lord knows what she's told people now. She's probably saying I stole all their cleaning products. But anyway, while I was looking through boxes, I found two boxes full of DVDs and they were all mine. It's just crazy. Well, in any case, <clears throat> I recently read an article about kids confessing to secrets that um, would make their parents cringe if they ever told them. Most of them, like, that I read through, they kept their secrets because they know that their parents would act abusive towards them for, I guess, um, divulging that secret. And it doesn't matter how innocent the secret is. Narcissists always make mountains out of molehills, even bigger than mountains. They, they really explode over nothing just because they love the drama. I've been keeping a secret from my narcissistic mother since I was about five. To normal people, this secret isn't like a big deal. You know, kind of like, oh, so what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's what happened. You know, even as a young child, I was so scared. And I know that a lot of you, you know better. As children, you're so scared to tell your narcissist about any type of accidents because to narcissists, accidents aren't accidents. They are things that we apparently do on purpose just to make them mad. And we know that we'll be abused for it 
so we don't tell them about this secret. I'm kind of scared right now because if, if my narcissist ever sees this, oh my god, it's going to be World War III up in here. I just want to say that she has been obsessing about this for 29 years. She brings it up, like when we were in contact, she would bring it up all the time because it's some mystery. Like if there's anything she could be known for obsessing over other than money, it's this secret. Okay, so I was five. We were visiting, I think my cousins, my aunt or whatever, the next town over. My mom doesn't drive, so we always took the bus. When we were visiting them, I guess we went to like some little department store and my mom got this really cheap little pop-up tool, or sorry, pop-up pool. It's the one with like those flimsy walls and you have to like keep holding it open and it holds maybe a foot of water. And if you go to the dollar store right now, like Dollar General, it's probably like $20. So 29 years ago, it maybe had been, I don't know, five, 10 bucks. Um, so, She decides to stay late and somehow we ended up missing the last bus. So we had a long walk home in the dark. I think it was around 9, 9.30 at night. And she's trying to carry this pool and she's complaining about carrying it like the whole time and flipping out. She's basically going on a verbal narcissist rampage about having to carry the damn pool and acting like it's my fault that she missed the bus, my fault that she has to carry the pool, you know. So she decides to, I guess, make me feel like crap and try to provoke an upset reaction from me. Now, remember, I'm five at the time. So she goes, she says something to the effect of, um, you know, she's not going to carry this damn pool anymore. It's my pool. It's my responsibility to carry it or whatever. I'm five years old. I can't carry that pool. It was too heavy. So she said she was just going to leave it there on the side of the road. And that's exactly what she did. She left it on the side of the road. We're walking down the road a little bit more. And then this guy in a white van don't even know who this guy is. No freaking windows in the back. He pulls over and asks if um, we need a ride home. And my mom says yes. Never mind this guy could be a serial killer or a pedophile or what have you. So he picks us up and we go back and grab the pool and put that in the van. Thankfully, he did not kill us, <laughs> but we got it home and everything. Now, we enjoyed the pool for some of the summer. Um, one time I was outside playing by myself. Now, I was still five, and I saw leaves in the pool. The pool still had water in it. I'm five. All I know is, hey, use a rake to get, you know, to rake leaves. I figured that's how I was going to get the leaves out of the pool. I remember it being like a metal rake and it was very sturdy. It was back when they made stuff still nice and sturdy and good. <clears throat> so what ended up happening was I sliced the pool. There was the little fingers of the rake or whatever, like scrape the pool. It looked like Freddy Krueger had scratched it or whatever. The pool drained and it was deemed unusable because the scratches were too long. I freaked out. 
because I knew that if I told my mother, I would have gotten a beaten real bad. And I would to this day still be having it brought up. Well, I've been no contact for a year now, but somehow it would still be relayed to me about what a horrible child I was because I broke our pool. Um, first she did accuse me, but I said no, you know, because I'm five and I don't want to get in trouble. So then she accuses the landlord's adult children because apparently they wanted us out of the house. Now, when I explain that she's obsessed with this story, like, cause she thinks it was, she says that she still thinks that it was um, the landlord's adult children doing it. She said, she tells people that they took a knife and just like stabbed it. But <laughs> if you could look like, the scratches were in sync with a rake. <laughs> oh my Lord. Um, my mom is 70 years old right now. If I were to go to her and tell her today, I guarantee you she would probably have a stroke and a heart attack at the same freaking time. And she would act like you're trying to murder her with that story. <sighs> Part of me kind of wants to wait until she's like, on her deathbed to finally go see her and then just be like, hey, you know the pool? I did it. And then she'd just die. <laughs> like, like she wouldn't be able to tell anybody. I know it's morbid, but you know what I mean? It's just, it would seriously kill her after all these years. Lord. Now, that you hear the story, it's not a big deal. Like if I had a little kiddie pool outside and my daughter somehow ripped it and the pool was like five, 10 bucks, it's not gonna be a big deal. Just throw it away. You know, I mean, whether she gets a new one or not, it depends on whether she ripped it on purpose or not. I mean, it's not a big deal, but to a narcissist, that story right there is freaking worldwide news worthy. You know, like terrorist attack type of story. That's how she would view it. And I swear I really hope she never sees this because if she does, I'm gonna run for my life. Because, and I am not even being dramatic because this story, I am literally scared to death of her finding out while she is still alive. <clears throat> so anyway, um, if you want to share some secrets, you can use like a fake account or whatever so nobody knows it's you. Fake names, fake dates, fake genders, and all kinds of stuff just to change the story up so that maybe if somebody reads it, they can't exactly tell it to you. Um, but yeah, if you want to share your secrets about your, your narcissist, or if you have stories of narcissists finding out about your secrets, comment below. All right. I hope everybody has a good one. Take care.